Hello, everybody. And sorry, I just checked if my mic is working. So, I am going to show you a little trick I found on the modification of Tales of Kingdoms. So, now this mod is a mod that adds RPG to which is role playing game. Are the RPG modifications to the normal vanilla Minecraft. So I have already made one and tested it out, so it's already gonna be done. So I created this today. I've been in and out and created this today. And um Tales of Me is the my Tales of Kingdoms. Whoops. I don't want that. I wanted saves. See, as you can see, there is a save called Kingdom Mod Save. <laughs> so, yep, that's that. I never get what that means. But, um, so, I figured out what to do. So, first of all, you, I was going to also show you how to install mods, which helps, I guess. So, I'm going to pull up the website here. One second. So, I'm back, and I am in Minecraft forums. So, I'll put a link to this into the description, so you can find your way here if you want to play the Tales of Kingdom mod. It's made by, I think it's um, pronounced Tiber Alex. But, yeah. So yeah, um, so what you do is you press uh, the download, and right here, whoops, let's go back here, I always forget that I have to hold the control key down, so it makes a separate tab, see, um, and then you also need the mod loader, which lo enables you to load your mod, and so you can pretty much, one sec here. Yeah, so you can load your mods into the game. So you need this too. So this is made by Rus the mod is made by Risu Gami. I think that's how you say it. And he has a bunch of stuff. He has the spawner GUI. Never got that installed properly. Um, block distortion, all this stuff. He actually, I think he ha yeah, he has the bio sphere which is pretty cool I got this to work once but then I accidentally deleted the map and it didn't work anymore but this one's pretty cool you should check this mod out um so one sec okay here mod loader so you want to download download it right here click so um this ch page is a very good way to get money if you put your stuff in here and have a ugh like see so you think that you have to click one of these but then the top right there's a skip ad press that it helps see and then you get to media fire and then you'll be able to download it here but I'm gonna do it here too sometimes it says like download 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 and then that's the first times I pressed on it I'm like why won't it work so here's the mod loader you just click save and then you can click out of the tab, download, save, click out. And there's like a stuff about the game and what the game's all about. You can check that out. So next thing you do is uh, uh, what just happened? I'm just gonna use this. I'm just good enough. Downloads. So you go into downloads. As you can see I've already downloaded it. <laughs> So, what you do, I do, yep, so I can just delete this, Where's, where did it go, Tales of Kingdoms, yep, can't find it, um, I see, I, I try to install a bunch of this one, I haven't gotten that one to work yet, so this is the pre-release for version 1.3, 
so um, what you do is you also need to install something else, which I totally forgot about. So next thing you do is you go to Google, and then I use WinRAR. I used to use the other one, whatever it's called, WinRAR. Oops, I think I spelled it down wrong. WinRAR. Got which one I click. Ah, I clicked on this one. Um, da -da, I click, and then there is this. So you can select here what system. I run a 64-bit, and then WinRAR. Yeah. So um, I want the English one because English is just my thing. Because I'm trucking in English right now, and there's other stuff for the Mac. Bleh. And there's also the Google Com, and there's like all these languages. So um, you click, and then it brings you to this, and then you just click download. You can get a full version. This one's free though, so you just click download now, and then it you know, like these are always draw-ins. Uh, like you have like they you think that you have to do this. So you download and then it's pretty much just a s install and save stuff. So you save it. I'm just going to download. It doesn't really matter. So you run and then it yeah, does this. When you're done with that, you just I'm just going to exit out of it cuz I don't need it. So to go back to the downloads, I'm just going to delete WinRAR. And so, what you do next is you have WinRAR installed, and then you just click Extract Files. Click, and then you can, like, if you want to have both of them in the same folder, you can go. Whoop, I just pressed the button. You can go Extract Archives into subfolders, but you have to need to have two selected for that. But what I'm just going to do is press OK. See, and then its mod loader pops up right there. And I'm just going to show you. Delete. See, you can just go click, shift, down. Just a basic. And then you can just go extract files. And then you can display file. No, extract files. There we go. And then OK. And then go. And then it shows right. Where did it go? Be here somewhere. Jeez, where'd it go? No, no, no. Uh, no. No, screw it. I'm gonna just do it again. It won't work. I'll just extract it separately. Should just extract here. Sorry about this. Extract files. Okay. Um. Containers. Yes, to all. Well, I don't know where it did this to. Here. Are you here? No. Well, screw it. I'm just gonna extract files. Yes. See, and then it pops up right there. And then this one. Files and you need to extract the files, otherwise, Hamashi. No, wait, sorry, that's from other tutorial. Um, otherwise, it won't be. So I'm just gonna put this on my second screen here. Just keep in mind you need that window. Next thing, I already have it done right here for Minecraft. But just for people who don't want to watch my other videos or tutorials, I'm gonna do this again. And if you don't have already, app data. Oops, I spelled that. Percent sign. Where did it go? Where did this percent sign? Oh, there it is. Okay, roaming, and then you see I already got the shortcut. But then you go to Minecraft, and then bin, and you need the WinRAR for this too, or the zip, if you want to use that. So what you do is double click on the Minecraft jar, uh, and then there's normally going to be a meta if. There's just going to be meta if right there and you just hit it and delete it it's I don't really know what it does but 
it keeps you from using the mod. The next thing you do, I, I, I need to show you this, otherwise you won't be able to do it yourselves, because you're watching this tutorial to know what you're supposed to do, and I kind of should tell you. I want to be good at these. But so what you do is you just control A them, and then you go, bloop. I'm not going to do it, because I don't want to mess this up. I don't really want to, like, restart everything, but click, you do that, and then, where did it go? You know, I probably shouldn't have done that. That's That was pretty stupid of me. I can probably use this as my other window. Uh, yeah, that was stupid. I still need my downloads folder. So, um, next thing you do is go to mod loader and just control A um, in two, just go control A, flop. I'm not going to do it because I don't know what it will do. But then you just open. Oops, that's my. Ugh. Ugh, there we go. Um, then you just open and create a no new world. Then you press on play selected world. And then you'll be here. So see, if I am here. I'm currently. I've already cheated with my cheat. And hired two huntsmen. I've got. I started this today, and I've got myself all diamond stuff. Diamond, diamond, diamond. I've got myself a map which will take forever because I don't even know how to make it. Sorry about that. Sorry, I just get scared very quickly. I'm holding something else on my phone. A knife. So what you do with this is you just run around at night. Yeah, so what you do, I'm just gonna try and find my way back here somewhere. I'm here, my house is over. Uh, thank you. Safe. I see the guards are kinda stupid. They just run at whatever zombie they can go with. I don't know if they're there. So I need to find myself. I'm here and I need to go. Right now I need to go to that bottom corner right there. See this is the guild and this is where I need to go. So, let's go. so yeah, I got some help. And since this is I cannot use any commands because I'm not that big of a cheat. And I also use the money I that I use to sell stuff. I use it to buy myself an arrow, bow, and got hit it out of the See, they help. See, they just help. They saw that skeleton. Keep it. Throw that. So I'm just gonna use the spider. Kill the creeper spider. They're rather good at killing creepers, but when they run at you, like, sometimes they run at them, but they get surprised. But that rarely happens. It happens a lot to me, apparently. I already built myself, I already, I was thinking about building myself a house. So you can see it, that's the guild. I'm just gonna build my house and build my bed. I, I've totally got it.
great. There goes my last card. Let that happen. They keep trying to blow up. <laughs> so, this might be a challenge. Wait out the night for the next just two minutes. It's there no time. See, I've already. This is kind of unreal. I have gotten all that stuff. It kind of seems like it's not really real. Like me, you see, there's. You could get that in the first day. Unless you have like a generator. Right, it's still raining. Let me start to lighten up. Oh, it, the rain went away. Yay. So, um, let's run, 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 run. run. See, so, oh, there's a skeleton. That's a skeleton. So, there's the skeleton. I got a bow. Yay. So, yeah. Um, so, this is the guild. Um, so there's the, this dude gives you bread every day, I don't really want it because I don't want to stock up on it. You can sell certain items. I figured out you cannot sell golden bars. It is not possible to sell golden bars. I had myself, uh, nine chunks of, like, nine sixty-four sacks of gold. And went to this dude and told him to, I want to sell it. And he told me he will not buy it. So, what you can, so you can see here that there is, I have, one, wait, that's 100,000, 100,000 million. I have 1,222,670 20, gold, which is hard to achieve in the first day. So, um, um, in my first playthrough here, the first time I actually played this mod, this was my room. It's double bedded room with a double chest. I normally build in here, but I did this time. I also labeled it my room because I there are a bunch of signs I hammered down in there. So you can go over here and then you talk to the guild master. And then you can do a contract, and then you can hire hunters as I am going to. One. Wait, how many? And then this is your path to kingship. If this fills up, then you can be a king. So let's see. This one's my dude. Is this one my dude? This is my dude too. So I have two hunters again. One, two. I shall use my sword. I shall use my. There we go. I want one more hunter, please. Ow. I don't get why they fall on you. It doesn't make sense. So. They walk with you, all that kind of stuff. They screw around. See, they spawn to you if you walk too far away, just like a pet. But, yeah, so that's the basics. Now, you need to watch my other tutorial for this. It, it for the um, next part of how to cheat. Um, so, what I did was, I did this. So I'm just gonna... One, two, three. There we go. Um, save and quit the title. I can minimize this. I don't really need my firewall right now. So, next thing I did was I can close this too. Minecraft and Minecraft server. So, I'm gonna, if you watch my other tutorial here, you of course know what my Minecraft server is and that I do it with Hamashi. See? Hamashi. Just watch it and learn how to do a easy server without messing around with their ports. It's getting more and more popular for people who have troubles with their ports. So, this is my Minecraft and this is my Minecraft server. So, I need to click here and then click on my saves and then you can see my tales of me, my data. See, I count map. Oh, my map. Map 01. Yay. Um, so, if you have the decrypting files, you'd be able to see what they actually say. All I see is jumble. And so the next thing you want to do is Tales of Me and Minecraft server. Um, as you can see, I have a bunch of maps here. Tales of Me. I tried this to do the install the mod on the server. Didn't work too well. We're going to try it again. So next thing you need to do is just drag Tales of Me 
into the Minecraft. And then you need to click on Server, Properties, increase it, and then you can see this. And then Game Mode, I had another game in Grass Middle. It's pretty much just ring around with my friends. I have a huge castle, but you want to change that to Tales whoops, of Me, because I'm the awesome one. Um, so, what you need to change next is game mode. You really want to make sure you have that on zero, because as soon as you change it to one, it just messes up your map, and you won't be able to gain any more XP, and blah, blah, blah. Um, wait, I forgot to... Yeah. Server. Control S. There we go. Now it's called an awesome server. So, Control S this... Quite, I do it once. Works for me. Um, so, yeah. Blah. Wait, I need a... Yeah, it doesn't really matter, I guess. So close this, and then just... I'm going to restart my server. There we go. Then, click on my icon here. Come on, start. There we go. Second screen with you. Minecraft. Multiplayer awesome server. See, it was just an awesome before, and now it's an awesome server. Join, it's logging in, and here I am. I'm in not the same spot, though, and I'm in creative mode, as you can see. And I used to have two chests there. I built two chests filled with all the stuff I mostly have in my inventory right now. So I could just fill it up with flowers, the roses, or diamonds. They sell for a lot. I sell both of those to the Shopping keeper, but as you can see, there's nobody here because the mod is not installed on my computer or on my server, which is kind of sad. So I can't play it with my friends. I'll figure out how. You can see this, and you can also see that this is not newly generated because there is my tower, and there's the accidental hole I made in the wall. <laughs> I'm not too proud of that. Um, so, oh, move buttons. Somebody should just make a redstone mechanism in here. So, um, um, what you do is, so you do all that, and then what I do is build chests. I guess I wouldn't do that anymore. I would just, I could just edit as much as I want. I could just make an entire underground. I could make a huge castle over here, and then just put it back into single player, and then just play with it. I think I'm gonna do that. But see, this is my inventory, I can just fill this thing up. So, I'm just gonna... What should I do? Um, so, as you see, I, I'm gonna change something obvious that I'm gonna see right away. Should I change that? Super obvious. Hmm. I guess I can put a fence around here. Security system. Just my security. And it will be very obvious to see, so I'm just going to go here and use fence to keep out the bad monsters from the house and keep my precious goodies from blowing up. So this is a good cheat to, like, if somebody, if you have, like, a bunch of stored stuff, or if you just want to be a plain cheater like me, I'm a plain cheater. That's what you call the people that cheat without having a bad habit. Like, they don't really think about cheating anymore. They just cheat without really thinking. Just like in Mario, where, like, I can do this and other people won't know it. But then everybody knows the cheat, and then, yeah. It gets out of hand pretty quickly after a while. Um, so, that's what I used to do in my... I used to play with my friends on my server, and... They were all slaving away, and I was like, okay, I'm going to start building my house now. And then it was like the biggest house of the bunch. And then they started like going suspicious, and they're like, dear, are you sure you built that house? I'm like, yeah, I totally built it 100% off resources. And then I started using rock, and then I suddenly appeared with diamond, and I, I kept having to come up with excuses. And then eventually they found out, because I did the mistake, or made the mistake, of mining right next to them in the same cave. And of course, you have a... You
don't have to actually mine. I could just go and like mine out my entire like around my entire house, but you don't actually need to do that with creative mode on. You can just walk them away. So I did the mistake of just hitting at stuff right next to them and this uh thing just disappeared right like poof, it disappeared and they're like dude you're using creative I'm like no I'm not and I'm like how why would you say that and then they're all Oh I just saw you Oh great I got stuck in the fence now. I just saw you do something that Where's that <laughs> sorry I got a I'm kind of a cold I hate colds. They make you sneeze. Um, I guess I could expand this up here a little more. I'm just gonna make a little stuff so I don't have to come back later fix my ideas. Rather waste your time than mine. No, I'm just kidding. I would never race it, waste your time. That would be mean. I'm not that type of person. Actually, I am. I waste a lot of my father's time, but you don't get too mad because you think I'm stupid. Ah, so patushk. Um, so I'm just gonna go click, pluck, click. There. Just build a, just build a little thing. I, I, my friends keep, keep telling me what they are, I keep asking them what they are, and eventually they just stop telling me. I'm like, oh, why? Because I keep, I keep forgetting what you call these things, like, these indentions that you have on castle walls. What what are those called? If anybody knows, please let me know, because I keep forgetting. I'm a very forgetful person, even worse than my, like my friend. One of the friends I play with, he is forgetful. Uh, uh, he, he forgot to do his homework an entire week in a row once. That's pretty much how forgetful he is. Wait, where are the torches? There are torches. I found torches, guys. Okay, I need to light this place up. No, I do not like you. There, there. I'm gonna make. I'm gonna probably make this look pretty off camera. Like build an entire new tower, just to make it look pretty. Um, yeah. Alright. So you, you can see that this looks different than when I came. Prove it. I'm gonna make a double oven. And put a second oven here. Where is it? Where did I put my oven? Somebody tell me where the oven is. Oh, there it is, the oven. I found the oven. There we go. Um, ta -da. And if anybody else knows how to install mods better than I do, because I don't know anything, I, I keep having a problem installing like the planes mod. I couldn't even get close to using that one. So, if anybody has a very good tutorial idea, please just send a link. I cannot make it get it to work. So I guess that's okay. So another thing I'm gonna probably do just to be silly, I'm gonna make a staircase. No wait, not here. Not here. I'm just gonna build a little tower up here. I'm just gonna do this off cam. So I'm back after. <coughs> probably an hour of work. I have redone my entire fort. I can now call it a fort, not tire tower. As you can see, I have built a little walkway to and from the guild. I've made an iron door with a handle. I am still, as you can see in my server, because my friend joined and left because I told him I don't have the normal map up. Um, some of the additions I've made are the wheat. I made a wheat farm in the front. I made a all-round passage. I made a wall. I now have three stories. I still need to add the ladder. Um, this is going to be my sleeping quarters. This is going to be the main floor. As you can see, I got glowstone, which is impossible without getting into the nether and so I've put a row of dispensers to put stuff in in my 
key, I moved my chests, I've put a bunch of furnaces to smelt down things, and yeah, oh, I need to put a lever here, let me, eh, I can just put these are pressure plates, kind of worth, worth it, I mean, it's not like, it's not like creepers should get in here anyway, so why not just put them there? Um, yeah, I'm, you can tell me if my tutorials take too long, and I'll try and shorten them down, but a lot of times there's just a lot of information that I... Th and the only reason I started doing these is because I watch other tutorials about Minecraft and in general games, and they're good, but they just leave out so much information about why and what and stuff like that, so... That's why it takes longer than the average tutorial you can find. Also, it is my pleasure to take criteria from you and try. So if you tell me the videos are too long or not enough information, or I should just not give as much information, which would probably make the videos a little shorter, um, if you want, I can just read, make all my tutorials and do shorter tutorials. I would accept that. I would not accept you saying that my tutorials suck, because they do not. My tutorials do not suck, if anything. They're probably better than a few other tutorials out there. I will accept criteria, like normal, okay, positive criteria. Okay, let's call it building criteria. That's what, what my dad always calls it. Build. Like, like, you can build, like, what's it called? Like, informative, structural. Like, I learned from it and learn what to do and what not to do. So if you don't want me to do certain things, just tell me and I'll not. Like, swear. Perfectly alright with not swearing, because I know that probably a lot of kids will watch this, because I'm a kid myself, and some have parents who are rather fond of their kids not swearing at home, and therefore block any videos with blood, swearing, and sort of stuff like that. So just tell me what you think of my tutorials, please. Leave comments, and if you have anything about Minecraft that you think I could make a tutorial out of, just tell me, and I will try as much as I can to make a tutorial about the question you asked, or to elaborate on something. So, this is my new thought, and looks rather fancy compared to this looks rather fancy high-tech so I'm gonna disconnect and you can as you can see I don't know if you caught it but in the bottom left it says saving chunks and next thing you do is you go stop you can type in server but I don't so I just say stop and it closes the server next thing you want to do and let me do this I you want to move back tales of me in my case and I'm gonna redo my things grass mid I'm probably gonna go back to my server after this and then default game mode one because that's my dinky -de donk I have a huge castle in there still under production and I'm gonna to tell my dude here that the server is back up because I do not have his phone number. And, um, the server is back up with thy the lar map. Well, it'll start blinking if he replies to it. So, next thing, this should be normal again single ba player and always make sure it says survive mode otherwise you messed it up and here I am 
Not great. It reset me. F. See, this is the problem with this. But if you change too much stuff, so I happened to be in my house when I was when I was there when I was rebuilding it. But as you can see, there are the assassins. There is my house. I have my health bar. It's just me. I'm gonna have to go back into my server tomorrow, probably. That's the next time I'll get, and then just here. And here's all my stuff. I should probably change that. That's gonna be annoying. Shit, that's not good. Ah, uh, Jesus. I'm just gonna it for now. No, no. You know, I should just put a button there instead. See, here is my letter. Here's a letter piece. Great. I should have not taken out that. Here's my windows, glowstone. I have a nice view. I really hope. I, well, it didn't ask me if I should start a new conquest. So I should still. I should probably change my password. I should. See, I just lost all my items because I was. I just happened to stand where I was rebuilding. I could probably have moved into the guild. I should move that path. See, I can't fly, and just so you know, my the, my friend came back on. See, he just came. He, it tells you on the server page that Irish Wizard, which happens to be his username, logged in with ID. I don't know, and then it tells the coordinates. Minimize that, back this, and see, it's just everything back here. I can probably just buy back everything. My hunters have died, just like me. They got reset. They, that's a lot of people in the same place. But if I, sh I should not like my progress bar should still be the same. Just gonna put that down. I don't really want to hear that. I'm just gonna check on my progress bar, and it should still be the same. See, see the same hiring. I could hire anything right now. So I'm just. Oops, great. There we go. Exit. I should just be able to... Um, I should just be able to go and start off where I left my stuff. See? There's that. There's the well. There's the big house. I'm just gonna put in all my armor and chest but as you can see it does work just make sure that you don't stand where you're building that's pretty much it see ya